there is a YouTube anomaly in terms of statistics. Like an average YouTuber clocked in 50 million subscribers. And now he's celebrating that milestone pretty much. Alongside with Mr. Beast defeating T-Series. None of these milestones are seemingly well earned, I would say. But let's dive in. I have many questions. We're going to talk about it. YouTube CEO is here and is going to untangle the mess. Hopefully. For Mike, Mark Rober, to me, not really a cool person at all. Often enough, just leads into a mountain of cringe. And it's like, oh, he's just like one of those kids YouTubers, but cooler. You know, like a real adult that doesn't have to devolve into a bunch of vo slime vomit nonsense. I built secret rooms. Oh my god, secret rooms, guys. Holy shit, man. But when Mark Rover does it, it's cool because, like, he will make a secret room in a cool way that everyone dreams about, right? That's the whole strategy. He basically has his own lab. Like, you know everything about him, but I still have to say all the facts. Biggest of which is the fact that he is number 53 on the list, about to take over Ariana Grande and piss me off even more. All right, Mark Rober, you have mortal enemies. You're not supposed to be up here. This is just wilderness where Mr. Beast lives on top of this mountain. There's literally nobody else who you would recognize besides Taylor Swift, Marshmallow, all these like weirdos who make music, right? On top of which also lies Blackpink, the highest, you know, subscribed music group of all time, pretty much. Besides BTS, where's BTS, bro? Where that shit at? I can't find it. Where's BTS, bro? Hype labels, where is the hype labels over here? It doesn't find it because it's capped. No, because it, I can't find anything. So stupid. I can't even find PewDiePie if I wanted to. Wait, what? 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 Hype? Where's hype? Man, this is so weird. Because we see it right here at 22nd place. So Blackpink actually defeating everyone on one category. Then we have these giant YouTubers that we all support and worship basically as the the crowned individuals. I think Mr. B's story, however, is coming to a close because he beat D-Series and it's like boring now of like, what are we supposed to do with Mr. Beast? He has done everything he, we wanted him to do. Now we have to do something else, guys. I swear, we have to do something else besides do the best content imaginable for every channel. Squeeze the best content out of yourself. I think that sort of strategy is uh, getting old and boring. So yeah, amongst all these people who you don't know, besides Baby Shark, Baby Shark is the best influencer ever, there's this dude, Mark Rober, who just broke YouTube somehow, and uh, creating a whole nother level of a mystery we have never seen before, I think. So vidIQ has actually exposed Mark Rover of like, here's how he got to 50 million. I'm like, he had 30 million, which is already like mind boggling. 50 now? Just like that? Is he getting just free subscribers? Is he engineering robots to subscribe to him? This is getting to another level, bro. Mark is the man. Yeah, because gender, guys, is how you get subscribers. You the best. Yeah, anytime you could pan down and see a fanboy telling the, the why, you know, answering the why in the most fucking outrageous way, I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, relax, we're trying to understand. We're trying to, like, actually learn the actual reality of things. I don't want no fanboys in the comments typing in, oh, the, re the actual reason why Mark Rober is a fart and top, top 53 creators is because I love him very much. That's the, wow. What a magical moment that is. Mark Rover should be so thankful. 
that you guys are his fans. Obviously, the biggest strategy is to appeal to kids somehow. One way or the other, you have to appeal to kids. Mark Rober is one of those situations where most kids want to be an influencers right now, but back in the day, they wanted to be astronauts. And Mark Rober is as close as you can get to working with NASA and flexing his... Uh, that sort of history, right? So what is the closest we can get to someone that I actually recognize because I have been, you know, on YouTube looking at biggest YouTubers for a long time. So uh, let's go down the list and see who's the, who's the next victim of this video in case, you know, something pops. First of all, Alan Walker should be a victim, but he, again, blends in with those music creators alan walker alongside with marshmallow we got to do something about these guys they're not welcome anymore oh there's mr beast 2 which i don't even know existed with 42 million holy crap man mr beast definitely took over this place i want to just uh and what just just three Three channels? What about a React channel, guys? So you telling me there is nobody besides other country, you know, exclusive like soy, German, uh, this some kind of uh, Spanish dude, Suega German? Oh my, there's, there's some weird ones, bro. But we are, we're not aware of them for obvious reasons. Uh, the... Yeah, the Skibbity Toilet, of course. The next one is Skibbity Toilet. I mean, we don't need to talk about that part. It's, it's the whole fucking drama surrounding it. That uh, we will not be able to escape. So, we do not recognize anyone except Mark Rober. He's the leader of the Obscure, the third place. PewDiePie and then that. So, who's the next one? How far do we have to go? Indian Hacker is the next one? I don't want that to be the next one. Direction. Ellen actually is up here. Which actually counts. It kind of counts, guys. How the fuck? Also, like Jimmy Fallon, then. Yeah. Jimmy... F oh. What?! Ellen is this fucking high and got cancelled? Two cr craziest things at once? Holy shit, man. How did... Ev everyone's a mystery up here. Everyone's like mysterious challengers, I swear. So where is this? The second... The Oh my, yeah, of course, Markiplier. As if things couldn't get any worse, guys. Holy shit. I don't think we need to dig deeper. I see Sniper Wolf, that's pretty nice. And we don't have to talk about Sniper Wolf. Because she's not the evil anymore. After you dox someone, you become not evil. You become my favorite YouTuber. You should dox me too. <laughs> Who wouldn't want Sniper Wolf coming to their home? So it's like, fuck you, Jax Films. I want it. If you don't like it, do getting doxxed, then I want it. Is all I have to do just criticize Sniper Wolf for a hundred times? Upload a hundred videos criticizing every single nit? I can do that. As long as uh, she promised me to dox me. But she seemingly apologized. And now I have nothing again. What do I do? Who's gonna dox me? Who, which YouTuber is gonna dox me? Markiplier now? I have to beg Markiplier to dox me? To do bite of 87 that he likes so much, bro? Shit. Which... Which part of my body can he bite off so I don't feel pain? You know? Now I have to figure that out. It's my only option. He will treat me like a gummy bear, I Im imagine, bro. The Sour Patch Kid. Ugh. What the fuck, man? I'm, I'm already tr <laughs> getting used to it. Anyways. So you can see, YouTube holds a lot of mysteries around here. And Mark Rober definitely made a mark. In that mystery tree. Holy shit. So let's see what vidIQ 
tells us about the secret of Mark Rober? What kind of algorithmic, you know, uh, strategies he uses to become the best of the best? How does he manipulate the universe? We need to know. For I don't like the guy, bro. I literally don't like him. We're gonna watch his content and evaluate very deeply. Uh, excuse my French. On whatever this is. Influence tracker, okay? So, Mark Rober has 500 points. Congratulations, all right? He is a 400 second place in my influence list. And I know everyone, and they speak English, guys, these people. So, uh, yeah, you can tell that Mark Rober is not really liked by me. Neither is Markiplier, all right? Which is fucking weird, because now we're talking about two Marks at the same time. I don't even fucking understand how much more brain damage can I get. Holy crap, what is this Mark thing, you know? Is this... Is this some kind of uh, American glitch of the system? If you're Mark, you're just gonna be the, most, the best of the best for z zero reasons? Holy crap, man. Call your kid Mark, and they will just steal everything. Who needs to be an astronaut when you can just be Mark? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's begin our investigation. I have told you my emotional state and how confusing this whole thing is. You can't get people to click. Nothing else matters. So what makes Mark's thumbnails and... My best guess is that Mark is a real-life person that can relate to real-life people. And uh, on a thumbnail, he's promising that he's going to be playing with lava and all these scientific gadgets, basically, that a normal human being would never be able to get their hands on that shit. That's the whole point. And he has a face that he slaps on every single thumbnail. He's trying to build a brain and successfully doing so. And associated with the Mr. Beast. Oh, shit. Should have been calling Mr. Beast Mark Beast at this point. We literally have the first letter down. Miss Mr. More like, you know. You know, like, what? Just, here you go. Just buy some letters, Mr. Beast. And you'll be a part of the gang. And convey emotion and of course there is a powerful use of bright contrasting colors but you've heard these before if you watched our video about my life. yep oh. all right so two important techniques we're gonna hear what is that Whopple. take a look at this video if you like me yeah i mean if, as long as you simplify everything you most people will find us appealing to click on simple enough and then uh you click and you'll see marks surrounded by children video if you like me and the millions of other people that Yeah, you go. And now you can relate to so many people who have free time to watch YouTube and don't know what to watch and who to trust, basically. And then he's the hero that will steal the, the spotlight so easily. You know, look. Here's a watermelon. Crazy. You're curious to know how on earth you do it. <laughs> Yeah, you skin one watermelon and put it inside the other wa watermelon. Crazy, right? What an a a amazing party trick. Except, uh, I can figure that out in like two minutes. Remember when I said we've all seen those fairground games? Well, that means that the video has an... Yeah, just like Mr. B's strategy, Mark Rober is trying to appeal to as wide of an audience as possible. And... The moment you try to appeal to children, you're sort of doing the damn thing, basically. When I do these commentary videos, it's very difficult to appeal to children. The moment I try to do it, all of a sudden more people will tune in and be like, Oh, that's a, that's a, that guy acts like a clown. He has a lot of energy. He has a lot of positivity and all that shit. It's, uh, and he's not swearing all the time, which I will not be able to do very easily. Someone has to pay me uh, lots of monies to not swear. Yeah, unfortunately, all the clowns are scary now, so uh, this is the, you know, most appropriate one for children. Because they spark curiosity. Yeah, so it's something to be aware of when we uh, check Mark Rober's channel. I don't know why it's not open right now. Curiosity? No, more like anxiousness to see what is going on you know just mark rover is just here to piss you off like oh look 
Isn't that cool? You have to click. You will not know what this cool thing is and how it works. You will be so left out. So many people clicked. Mark Rover only needed to make 150 videos. One video per month, but, you know, he's finding the most shocking nonsense of the world. I immediately see nonsense. I immediately say I, I will not like this channel whatsoever. And uh, I'll tell you guys why. I'll give you guys the why. The how to hate Mark Rober. Because that's what it takes at this point. All these marks, they will be hated. I'll make sure of that. And then maybe we're going to get to Mr. Beast himself. Because I think Mark Rober is actually low-hanging fruit. Just like uh, Penguin Zero. All right. When I hated Penguin Zero, bam, slam, my channel exploded into uh, insanity, bro. We got the first most watched video, pretty much. Anything that's not Mr. Beast is a low-hanging fruit, which also includes cucumbers, which is a fruit because that's what Food Theory told me. And it's also dramatic enough where people are starting to watch. Maybe it will explode and just never know that stupid YouTube algorithm. But this is what I did. I got 4,000 views simply because me hating on Penguin Zero because, like, he kind of is questionable still around here with 20 million subscribers. Is that what we having here? Pretty high up here. And still very questionable of whether it's actually entertainment or uh, a rich YouTuber doing the same thing that they used to do before they got rich. Which is so weird that the, there's barely any change in people's lifestyles. I would change. Mr. Beast changed. What gives, right? I would change simply because I have to escape the nightmare that surrounds me. I want to build a castle, bro. So, you know, at least I get a calm life. I don't just get angered by uh, the surrounding air. Just noise alone. There's so much to change. There's so many friends I can make now that I have money. You know, apparently I have to buy friendships. Okay, I guess I will do that. That's how you buy a girlfriend, after all. You know, money changed everything. But for Penguin, it's changed absolutely nothing. I know there's authentic YouTubers out there. And it's like a completely respectable thing. But you have to fight them now. Because they forgot to change and if they forget to change they have to be challenged they have to be challenged to see what happens just to see just for curiosity reasons just for what i wonder what happens when you start pissing off youtubers and that's the secret to becoming successful yourself there's a lot of drama channels that are cropping up but those drama channels are going to be washed out as long as you don't just want to create a drama but you want to Express yourself too. If you have something unique about yourself, if you're proud of yourself in some kind of way, uh, if you have unique problems that you're trying to solve, you might be wanted on YouTube more than you think. All right? Instead of being my hater, you could be making YouTube videos. That would be fucking awesome. People forget that too. You know, they just keep on typing comments and books in my comment section, forgetting to upload a video. All you have to do is have a microphone and speak to it for a certain amount of time, showing something on screen. Uh, you'll have a video that someone may, may or may not want to watch just to understand your personality better. It's crazy. I know, guys. It's crazy for YouTube CEO to know all these weird things. But uh, I think you can trust me on for that example, one. For example, hit legendary on COD Mobile in seven, say beyond two seconds, they're less likely somebody's gonna click on the video. But Mark's titles and thumbnails are the embodiment of synergy. And I yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to give too much in your title and thumbnail. You're just supposed to make people click. Genius. In the title, Mark is teasing that the wheelchair in the video is going to do something for- Yeah, it's the coolest thing ever. Wheelchair. Wheelchair. There is one type of things you can do on YouTube, and it's called achievement hunting, basically. Which is exactly what uh, this whole thing was about. 
maybe they haven't even noticed themselves of what they're talking about. It's achievement hunting, you have to do something the crazy and cool and Mr. Beastified, basically. And, uh, that's literally what it is. That's the whole channel. Except, this guy has to put in genuine work to uh, achieve something. Because it has to be, like, engineered. It's tough work. It's a lot of work. And it's always a different item that has to be engineered. I don't know, man. Respectable. But for me as a audience member, kind of just useless. Visual. Thumbnail does here is in by the main. Yeah, I forgot that he's on stairs. I, I didn't even pay attention. So, like, if, you, if you're truly making thumbnails, you have to simplify everything. And even this is complicated enough to where it can hit you of, like, shit. It's climbing stairs, this thing? He could have put an arrow up of, like, Time he's away. genuinely climbing stairs with this thing. It could have, you know, given an arrow, those red arrows. I don't know, maybe it's too, too gimmicky for this guy, but, uh, why not? And clearly communicate. I, I, no, not clearly communicate. I, I would just completely miss the point here. Because you kind of see wheelchairs go up and down like ramps, so... It blurred out into a ramp for me. Yes, and there is only really one way to find out. Yeah, if he ever got eaten by a shark, let's find out. Curiosity. You know, I, I know the formula of how to make people click. You type in a name of, like, Mark Rober, and then you type in who he is. Is a fart. That's it. Here you go. Rage baited. Still works. Don't tell me that doesn't work. Yeah, it's sharp. But even if you craft all these things, you still have to put in that extra crazy-ass work and actually you engineer a ball to do something that has never been really done before. At least not on camera, not straight in your face. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know who can actually mimic Mark Rober's success. We can only learn from it, you know, to some extent. But it is achievement hunting, so it's like, do you really want to learn this thing? Or maybe it's not for you. But you should pay attention to your achievements in case you actually do something crazy. You want people to know and click and be intrigued by it. And you want to draw them in. That's pretty nice. One of the biggest achievements of Mark Rober, for me personally, is this glitter bomb thing that he has made multiple versions of, so he solidified the idea. And uh, there's no escape, guys. There's no escape. You will you will know that there are thieves, and they need to get glitter bombs as the only way to stop them, apparently. Which is kind of whatever. But, yeah. This is how it could possibly work without actually telling you how it works. That's the type of curiosity. Yes, so though I made a, the biggest achievement personally is the sorting system, right? But because I am not established person, and I'm just like, you know, I shot an achievement and it's fairly easy to uh, label your achievements. It's like, I done this faster than whatever this is, right? Whatever the world record is, I have beaten the world record. How many ways you can you beat the damn thing? How many ways can you make people curious that much? You have to really dive in into the fact, infatuation of all the possibilities of engineering. And uh, this is done by accident because I really wanted to program something important for myself. Which is a ray trace rendering. I was doing Spawns the Creeper's Forge, which is a Minecraft modded Minecraft map, basically. And uh, I was like, I can make my own Minecraft. The mod was discontinued because Minecraft keeps updating. So at some point, mods are just not going to be able to keep up. But I was like, I should make my own version of Minecraft. And that was a whole adventure that led me into making this kind of world-breaking record, I would say. I have never seen anything resembling what I do. People fucking calling it bucket sort but it's not it you know but somehow i cannot establish an achievement only mark rober can with his little balls you know
Balls impossible to hit. So everyone wants some of that shit. Look at that ball. That clip. So basically, you you literally try to kick kick him in the balls, and it's like ah, you didn't hit me. You didn't hit me. Man, Mark Rober might uh, might be pretty tough to beat. Actually, that was my only option. Just kick him in the balls, and apparently that's not it. Even if I put him in a wheelchair, he will be able to escape. You know, consequences. Oh, man. Is there anything I can do to defeat Mark Rober? One of the most fascinating things, Evil Mr. Really. Oh, someone changed their mind. Well, that's fucked up. I don't like that. <sighs> yeah, mo <sighs> then the bonus meme does not ha even have a point then. What happened? Who changed their mind? Who thought it was like, I will return here and change my mind, actually? But yeah, Mark Rober was on the list, and I didn't thought it was actually relevant that Mark Rober's on the list, but apparently he's the second YouTuber besides PewDiePie, you know, who's uh, so high on the leaderboard. Apparently this guy actually matters and fits the mold around here. What the hell? But he gets no support anymore. Which is so fucking ironic because we just discussed of like one vote disappeared and went over here to the evil Mr. Beast. Well, that was easy. Mark Rober gets zero supporters then. No bonus memes. So fuck yeah, bro. You lose. I can't even uh, talk nicely to this guy because... Will I even get haters for this video? Is it even going to happen? He might have to engineer those haters himself. Not gonna be that easy anymore. And makes the YouTube algorithm happy. And the first step is to confirm the title within the first three seconds. Yeah, I try to balance this thing, but obviously because videos are recorded first and then the title and thumbnail is created later, it's very difficult to recreate what's what was my initial intention and how people will feel for the first ten minutes. It's tough. Alright. So I try to focus on the highlight of the video instead of uh, whatever Mark Rober is trying to do because this video is like 10 minutes each, right? It's not that deep. Uh, whoa, well, 15. It is deep. It's a little bit weirder than that then. Like the egg drop from space was one of the most unsatisfying things I had to experience. I'll tell you that much. This is where I was like, no, no, I don't like Mark Rober, what the fuck, why is he getting 103 million views? Can we fucking stop? And now it's the most popular video on his channel? Top three? Not even top three, top eight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Video. This it's not an easy job to hate people, okay? You have to consider. All the possibilities, how much work you will have to do, how to sit down and just watch their videos without getting into your uncontrollable rage. But you also have to state your opinion, you know. And have an ability, a spark in there to change your mind about Mark Rober in this case. I don't think it's, it's going to happen. I have changed my uh, mind about Mr. Beast into a, a wrong side, you know. Or a side where Mr. Beast wouldn't want me to be there, but uh, uh, he will at least have to pay for me to not be there. You know, explosions like nuclear blasts, they need to radiate, radiate their energy out, fully convert a person, fully let them think for themselves for long enough until people are gonna realize, oh shit, I do support Mr. Beast and not Mark Rober, then they will think even more, and they will start supporting Unspeakable, and not Mr. Beast. And that's what I want. That's my master plan. Bring Unspeakable forward and kick down Mr. Beast. But, the bigger master plan is that I'll be pushing Unspeakable, but then he probably will just give up. Because we don't want another Mr. Beast in the town. We just want to challenge Mr. Beast so he comes down. Uh, you'll see. It's a little bit twisted to explain everything. This is me.
But one thing is worthy of expression is the magic of this thumbnail. This is where magic happens. I allow myself to not have the thumbnail and title yet because I decide maybe there's some magic to it. In this case, um, Unspeakable glitched twice. He references a creeper. It's almost like a big room, just big, big ass creeper. Almost like a factory, you know, some, somehow a reference to me. And then Evil Mr. Beast, which is literally a reference to the damn pole. It's reference to this now. And he's like double glitching about me, almost like highlighting my concerns. I will always stand by Unspeakable. There's nothing I can do about it anymore. He just kind of tackled my heartstrings, glitched my system. I am completely in debt to this man. While Mr. Beast continues to disappoint me with his content. We're not talking about Mr. Beast, but it's fair to note that no one is going to escape the grasp of my, you know, comprehensive abilities to bring them down. No one's going to escape that shit. And anytime someone comes down, even a little bit, they give me credit. They multiply my power level, you know, by like 1% every now and then. They increase my self-esteem. And in this case, the target is Mark Rober. Is he a skivity toilet? Let's find out. Is he supposed to be flushed as quickly as possible? And we just need to shove a few balls in there. So he doesn't feel lonely being flushed down the toilet. It's impossible to hit. People's attention spans on YouTube are incredibly short. Are incredibly short because there's a lot of choices. You know, people are anxious to pick the best choice for themselves. Of what to watch, what to trust. What is the best experience on YouTube? If I pick the wrong one, I will not be able to relate to the most maximum amount of people. Sometimes you choose based on the view count, sometimes choose on your feelings sometimes you choose because the topic is very very important to you whichever it might be you're still tackling many many things as a youtuber all at once in this uh you know not that easy to find the secret formula the crabby patty formula that works the best thing you can do is improve yourself little by little and you know follow all these people that are successful it's the best winning formula I know, you know, just learn from everyone else. And I do it so verbally and in your face about it. So you can see the progress, hopefully. You can see that something's changing on my channel every now and then, just little by little. Which also includes Influence Tracker that I built. I'm also an engineer, Mark Rober. What is up? Except my engineering skills created this. The thing that I use every single day and I can't stop using now, it's a part of my life. It's a mechanical heart. It's something that's very difficult to comprehend for a normal person. It's almost like an enhancement of a human body. You know, just having buttons on the screen. Crazy, right? It is crazy. I swear, it is crazy. It should be a clock as well. I want to click buttons on the clock too. Why not? Someone... Someone with voice commands all these buttons and click them around and assign values to them. I, I would fucking be the real man, real Iron Man over here because I find the reason to do this. To seek my highest influencers, basically, and how much I care about them. Which I want to remind you, Mark Rober is just barely crossing 400. We're probably going to get to 300. In fact, this could be a special video that extends to part two on my second channel. The second channel is called Rocket Ship. And we will discuss Mark Rober here, very likely. Stay tuned till the very end to find out if I have guts to do that, to watch every single Mark Rober video. Probably not, but who knows? Oh, this, this Mark passed you guys. Another Mark I don't like very much. Nice. So by reminding the viewer, hey, this video isn't clickbait and you've made the right choice, it prevents the viewer from clicking away. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I hope you can tell why VidIQ is such a cool channel. At least the dude who's narrating the whole thing. Spelled out the three hook strategy. Go but the real question is, is it good content though? Just because you got clicks and subscribers and all the children to love you, 
Is this good content? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? This, this is the new layer. This is what we have to demand YouTube to change. If people not making good enough content, however, we will still will have to leave them behind. They will still have to go down, sink down. The Titanic, the T-Series is gonna, you know, rise and Titanic will sink, is uh, what I will say over and over again. Because the possibility is there. And I will always hang on to all the hopes and dreams, my friends. Nope. If you're not familiar, you might want to watch this video. Because I say every single major sin that Mr. Beast commits, basically. That triggers me very much. So, uh, and that's the other mark. Yep. Max even more exciting. For example, he's creating tension here by narrowing the... Yeah, the sexual tension. Let's go, bro. Plus Looking at all these data. Oh my god, climax. Night. Yeah, the biggest climax is when I get my first actual date that we both gonna call a date with the other person. Hopefully a female. That's climax for me, guys. Whatever the fuck elephant toothpaste bullshit is going on. Even, even Mr. Beast is kind of one of those loners who don't actually flex relationships. Which is weird. He has girlfriend and all that shit, we, we know that much. Which is like, wow, that's crazy what you can do when you have money. You can have friends and a woman in your life. Some people will just uh, default to bitches though, so. Congratulations to Mr. Beast for being normal. Because he knows how, he knows he needs to be normal, otherwise he won't be relatable. It's uh, very interesting lessons from life you can learn. But I think Mr. Beast is arrogant. I think he feels like he's doing all the right things because he's putting so much work and researching so hard. When in actuality, he's just like removing all the imperfections. If gaming channel is imperfect, remove it. If React channel is imperfect, remove it. If I'm uploading too many videos, remove that. That's the Mr. Beast strategy, is to actually remove imperfections instead of actually improving something. Uh, he's not doing that. And one of, one of those times, Mr. Beast is going to realize, I am the imperfection. I have to remove myself. Uh, it's going to be the saddest moment in YouTube history of like, I'm retiring actually because I don't like YouTube anymore. That's what's gonna happen to Mr. Beast. Mark my words. Mark Rober my words, motherfuckers. We put in the final batch Friday night with ominous weather threatening to ruin the whole effort. Yeah, I mean, the ominous weather is gonna ruin the whole Mr. Beast. Could. When you in other words, ominous uh, emotional, uh, you know, st storms in his head. It's gonna ruin himself. Build curiosity. It's almost like Mr. Beast. Uh, Found the cheat code and, and used the cheat code successfully, but nobody really likes him. Just nobody can like resist Mr. Beast, but nobody really likes him. And the mystery is uh, still up there. Mr. Beast drama is not this year, but maybe next year. This year we can just chill and do other things. There's Skibidi drama, and there is uh, things that are released before GTA 6, but not actually released, like High Tail and. Bizarre, just waiting for games to be released and like remove the spotlight from Minecraft, from the dead body of Minecraft. But no one can actually do it because the engines are so sophisticated. Uh, Hearthstone engine, Minecraft engine, they're sophisticated. It's very difficult to make a card game that like works flawlessly and you just pump more cards. They most of the people just fail the engine. One game did not fail the engine, but failed something else. Perhaps failed to run the engine for long enough to satisfy the audience. Maybe they just gave up too fast. I don't know. Limited times complete. I just hate how we cannot just demand with our dollars. We can't just be like, I'll give you $10. Collectively, we can get, collect like $100,000. Please, Elder Scrolls Legends, release an update. Puts developers to balance the game even more. Do something. We, we still, on the internet, to this very day, have no capacity of demanding things, which is the stupidest thing, I think. We can just put forward a dollar 
And if demand is met, the dollars are going to be vacuumed up and the person is going to be rewarded for creating a certain thing, you know, for meeting the demands. How to establish a, a Kickstarter 2.0? I don't know, man. This is not a Kickstarter. It's Kickstarter 2.0. It's a different variation where you put dollars and a person is only going to get those dollars if they actually fulfill the demands. Kickstarter 1.0 is a scam site that takes your dollars and then gives you a fucking middle finger. But 2.0 is something that would actually work. There's a lot of engineering required on the internet. I don't think Mark Roper is doing any of it. Zero. You know, engineering of internet, of actually influencing people with the tools that we could actually use ourselves with the web building a website that we could actually use and be better internet dwellers that way but he's doing nothing i believe he's doing absolutely nothing just showing cool things because it's youtube and you show cool youtube video and people click that's how simple it is for this man and i'm kind of offended by it it's kind of just lame at least in comparison to me a person who's actually trying to change as many things as possible because the, they're not perfect. They can be better. They're, they're scams waiting to be fully developed, working tools of bettering society, of fully giving us next generation of things. It's just, I'm being teased as well, just like with Mark Rober's videos. Oh, you gotta click it to understand why this jello is jelloing right right now. Why is why is the jello jelloing, bro? How did you do that? Oh wait, it did took two minutes. Mother Okay, he got me. He got he got me so fucking bad. It's like two minutes and fifty-two seconds just to rub it in my face of like, eh, yeah, I did it in three minutes. But you will not know. Nobody will ever know. God damn it, bro. Yeah. I rename I should have renamed it into Mark Bro Brower. You know. Wait, Bromer? I Mark Rober. So you just like Here you go. Brower. So he stops robbing things. Robbing views and subscribers. How dare you, bro? Did you know that Earth is actually flat? Mm -hmm. Have you tried that one? Do you do you know what this is? Flatness of the Earth. <laughs> That's this craziest thing. One of the most popular videos disproves the existence of NASA itself, bro. The the re reputation of NASA. Fuck you, Mark Rober. That's the worst part about it, bro. Association with NASA, the nasty, the nasty scientific community that steals money from the governments damn bro what the hell is that all of attention and gives your audience a big dopamine rush oh it gives them ejaculation how fucking cool is that of conflict mark oh, oh conflict is what I, I do very well mark understands that conflict is at the heart of increasing watch time and retention that's what i do on my second channel as well the card game channel guess what my card game channel started performing Oh, when I started conflict, and all of a sudden my videos picked, got picked up by the algorithm magically, you know. Oh, that's crazy. And when I was in conflict with myself and the game itself, then people stopped watching. Wow, the more you learn, guys. Also known as drama, and you're not supposed to be burned by drama. You're not supposed to conjure drama out of yourself. You're supposed to create it with other people. Collaboration, basically. Conflict. Showing, flexing that you're better and you, that you not lose self-esteem by accident, you know. Experience conflict, we naturally want to keep watching to see how it's resolved. Just like in this video. Oh, he's fighting the devil's toothpaste, of course. Of That's the conflict. Yeah, I knew it was going to be stupid when he said conflict. Like, like what? Conflict? Bro. Two, in this video. Two, one. Oh my god, that's such a conflict, guys. Where's the conflict?
This is me reclaiming my title for the Well, thank God it explains. Narration was the conflict of like, hey guys, I wanted to have the world the world biggest toothpaste bullshit thing. World's largest and tallest elephant toothpaste experiment. And another interesting thing is uh yeah, he has been around. He has had 69% more chance uh, to exist longer than Mr. Beast, so that's something. This doesn't relate to me. Yeah, I mean, you still learn from biggest YouTubers. You should relate to them, and that's the whole point. Because they're better than you, and that's what you do. You don't just, like, scuff away and just like, ah, whatever. You can have it, and I'll just be sad and stuff. That's not what you do. Like, for example, I relate to this yellow car that has a lot of subscribers. I think people who associated with my channel and who subscribed, they also earning for, like, some kind of resolution for my story. Because something has to happen. I can't just hold YouTube CEO title forever, right, without being recognized as, like, why the fuck are you doing that? Who you think you are? And also uploading YouTube rewinds without getting recognized of like, oh, we actually really wanted YouTube rewinds, and here's the one that I like very much. Shit is gonna happen. Shit is gonna blow. It's just very difficult to make that happen and beat the YouTube algorithm because that's the real, real enemy around here. So it's a nice video to watch. I'll just tell you that much. It is time. For Mark Rober to be assessed. Next 14 minutes, we're gonna be evaluating his content and barfing, apparently. Oh, VidIQ, congratulations on your 1400. Now, here you go. Uh, one bonus. Let's link you guys with Mark Rober, because you did a good piece. Vortex Cannon? Oh, shit. I've seen this thing. Another thing that I endorse in the technology of the internet is the shorts format where you just scroll videos instead of giving these big YouTubers their uh, view count increase by default. You actually get random videos that you might like and you decide through, you know, hard work which videos you like instead of sitting on a thumbnail and be like, hmm, do I like this thumbnail or not like this thumbnail? That's the stupid way of doing things. And then you have WidIQ talking about thumbnails for like half of the video. Or half of the videos in general, because that's how much it matters. Thumbnail and title matters like 50%, which is cool. I can make art out of it, but that's about it. Fast and maneuverable, it's only a matter of time before they use to carry explosives to attack key infrastructure. Are we not going to mention Ukraine using drones against Russia? What the fuck? Sure, he's being developed. Well, before we get worried, and I know you little children, we're not going to talk about this thing Almost right now. YouTube. Yeah, when you're talking with, with Americans, you can't just say Ukraine and Russia, because what is that? That's not America. What you have to say is that someone can use a drone to land a bomb on your face, and you should be scared. And But we're doing everything we can to stop that. And now we're going to use this Vortex cannon to stop drones. What the fuck, man? That's so fucking weird. But it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense that every single building with a ha will have Vortex cannons to shoot down drones. This is going to be so fucking stupid. Drone with bad intentions and every method... That is crazy. I do respect Mark Rober with this thing. And maybe I'll have to apologize in the end. Because right after, like, the first minute of, like, we're gonna battle with Vortex Cannons, we're gonna battle drones, you did not just click on this fucking video to just be like, ah, it's just the funny little gag of, like, we're gonna fly a drone and we're gonna kill it with a Vortex Cannon. No, we're literally just talking about country-size issue, like, American issue, we can't even defend ourselves from drones, guys. We should be worried, we're researching this thing right now. Damn. That fucking hits hard, bro. That hits me with a Vortex scan right now. Of magnitude. And that means a microwave beam gun that was previously able to fry- Can you imagine, like, this is pretty serious. This is not just children's channel, which is quite satisfying. 
That's a pretty big achievement, I'm not gonna lie. That's not Markiplier level of achievement. But Markiplier has its own achievement of doing scary things for a very long time. Hi, my name is Markiplier and I'm very scary. Death. Appropriately called Anvil. Ah, that's the strategy. The sixth strategy works. We just smash things. Dangerous drone into th what it's like getting hit by anvil. So Jesus Christ. That's very weird. Who's gonna stop anvils then? What? Now it's now there's gonna be anvils falling from the sky and killing people. God the damn it, bro. Drone computer. I hope anvils can like kill other anvils. <laughs> I don't machine. know, man. I'm still scared. Of different places. Southern. All right, maybe the NASA is uh, doing something actually interesting instead of exploring unreachable space. We're making drones, uh, drone wars now. No, no idea. idea. I just threw the name NASA. I don't know who's fucking responsible for this anymore. Surely government is funding all this military operations. Turned into a four-person backyard engineering competition. So in addition to my. Again, the downside of engineering is that you have to have materials, knowledge, all all these things come together, all these testing, like how much material do you have to waste to get this thing uh, up and running? That's the power of NASA, of infinite funding, of just getting infinite amount of testing to do this in the end. A normal person you think you can relate, you think it's a physical activity you can do, but it's... Very complicated to achieve. So again, uh, Mark Rober is uh, can't touch this type of person. Church feedback was that this is great for kids to have a bunch of fun learning how to create and build. But what about? It is cool to see like engineering possibilities because you will always have material of some kind laying around. That's simple. Some beautiful sand garden control. control. And a bunch of toys you can make. With the polar bears. Ways to completely level up the fun. Yeah, that's that's great. Girl of darts. But there's even a oh, such abusive robot. Hardware hacks too, so it can continuously scan your office. Yeah, it's seeing things, guys. I don't like that. A community where you can post questions, as well as an AI chatbot named Mark Robot that will check. Hmm. He logged that down very fast. The tools I use to build and code stuff, so you can grow your creative engineering brain muscles one step. Still, cool little skill, where does it apply? The only engineering I did is discover that duct tape is ridiculously crazy. And then I continued starting to learn how to drink water. Because that's very difficult. It's not a meme, guys. I still don't know how to drink water. I made to level four. He showed three levels. First, the refuse tap water, which is like, what the f It's already a very difficult thing. Refuse any bottled water, if it's just water. Refuse cold water. Like, all, already I had to go through three steps, and now after refusing all these things, how do you replace them? Yeah. You'll laugh, but I'll make a video about it, and it's such a fucking crazy thing. Congratulations, because college is now free for you or a- For me, it's like college and school, the scariest words you can think of. College in particular, because you literally have a choice not to go, not to be learning all these things, not to try and fight for your degree, which God knows what it's supposed to do. You can often just fail the degree. Because in order to succeed the degree, you have to secure a job. Which is the even scarier part than just going to the fucking shithole college. I don't know, man. Love with me and my <laughs> team. It's such a pull the plug moment of like, okay, we, we gave you everything. Go look for a job. Good luck. Uh oh. We gave you everything you needed except six actual experience of doing jobs, of uh, achieving jobs. Uh oh man, it's the stupidest thing. I get triggered by college every single time. Box. This lasted way too long. This whole fucking segment of like, hey, look at my cool robot. It's cr how long this lasted, bro. Holy fucking shit, man. Unbelievable. Since 
no, six minutes all the way to this most replayed part for obvious reasons six minutes it lasted now you understand why i'm triggered by college four years it lasted longer than it's supposed to be but as a crazy ass engineer i can i can tell you guys what percentage of the video actually 30 percent of the video was a fucking ads to a box hey look at my cool robot that you didn't where with iq what was that with iq that was not a fulfillment of promise i want to click away now from the video but i guess he stole three three minutes and he's like ah it's time for an ad break uh 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 no escape i got you hooked bro you watch this thing for six minutes so for six other minutes we're just gonna feed you an ad hit per tat little bitch wow so rude since i'm youtube ceo i will probably start enforcing that the ads would be in a separate location so people click on their own will if they want to be nice to mark rober they will click they will watch the ads they will give him the monies they will buy those stupid boxes it could be in a special like shopping place like why youtube doesn't have shops in there where do you click for a shop it's just links right crunch labs which is still very weirdly placed right you want this thing to strike yeah. the audience of like this is important category it shouldn't be just links it should be about section which you can customize somehow and you can't because it fucking sucks you just get a couple of links you don't even know what these links are supposed to do what they're supposed to achieve and here you go congratulations that's the engineering i want to do i want to re-engineer youtube if possible because there's so many improvements just general improvements that can be made if we just pay attention emotionally i'm like not very excited to watch the video because the video kills itself every now and then and it's like yeah okay you killed the drone but finally we get to the actual part where the testing is going to be done and they're going to start fighting drones there's the part of the video that i thought the video is actually going to be about instead we got a bunch of education and i think like that was pretty lame i did not expect this to be lame you know despite appreciating all the education that i received i'm still kind of lame Drone to because all of a sudden there's completely different three segments in the video one education one kill the entire video and now we're just barely alive of like okay what are we going to be doing oh finally that part that i wanted to watch this whole time jesus you can actually squeeze ed education and outsource the uh, the ads somewhere else. You can squeeze education throughout your video. So like, here's different ways. That's here. Here's number one way of just defeating drones. Here's number two way. But the best way is with violence, bro. And then we start smashing. You know, I don't think it's a good storytelling. That's what I wanted to see, you know, like... What? And then he misses everything. Oh, no wonder you put education and ads on, in front, because you don't want to be embarrassed from the very beginning. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Oh. Bonk. Yeah. You actually did. Oh, it worked. That's crazy. No. It's almost like it's scripted now. I feel uncomfortable. Let's see. That was the final shot, which was the bonus shot after hitting the target first to get the bonus shot in the first place. How is this not scripted? What is going on? <laughs> Absolutely. One shot, one kill. That's crazy. Wow. That looked like a really good way to kill a drone, actually. That was yeah. really good. And then That's what we're going to have on every single rooftop. The drone killing war tags gone. You guys could, you know, hold the Yay! I am so proud of my boxes. I'm gonna give it to my engineering buddies because they need it. It's the most gimmicky shit ever, man. Oh my god. Here's a book for winning a competition. Fucking eating contest. And you got a book about how to eat food faster. It's the stupidest shit. So are we doing a special rocket ship video? yeah 
why not? It's not gonna be that bad. He doesn't have that much content anyways. And I don't like his content. Still. It's just like, oh, drone smashed into another... Or something smashed a drone four times. Wow. That's crazy. Different thing smashed a drone. And in order to do that, it went into just deep night time. Of like, the goo was spilling on the night time. Yeah, I, I understand that very well. First you spill the goo and then you smash drone into another drone. That makes so much sense now, right? The climax, the... everything. Oh, you are a chicken if you don't spill your goo in the night time, you know? You're just a chicken. Yeah, you just add a one woman into this video and all of a sudden this video doesn't doesn't quite have the same meaning anymore. Do you understand how much power women actually have? You don't understand because they have never flexed their freedoms of what they can actually do. It's so crazy and mind-blowing. Anyways, but I will try to resist the urges, which, you know, from an engineering standpoint doesn't work very well because I really like this, you know, suburban things, the theme, suburban theme. Oh, he actually leveled up his content. Congratulations, Rover. What a crazy dude. Did the most unthinkable thing. I'm not sure if Rocket Ship is going to be evaluating content. I just sit around and see how far you're going to get with it. You know, how cool you actually are. Maybe even your Instagram is going to be checked. Who knows? So, yes, I do confirm Rocket Ship video about Mark Rober is a thing. Check it out. On the Rocket Ship channel. What is the actual at? Rocket Ship Stars. All right. Because there are stars in there. And you might want to know more about them. Thank you for watching. It is time to say goodbye.